Welcome to Unfinished Stitches. I'm Bonnie. And I'm Madison. And today is December 28th, 2023. And this is floss tube number 36. 36. Woohoo! Here we are. Ooh, okay, wonderful. Madison obviously is here in Colorado for Christmas. Yes. She was here for Christmas. It's after Christmas. Yes, it's after Christmas. <clears throat> but we've been having a good time stitching and a little shopping and I don't know, playing some video games. <laughs> Yes, anyway, we've been having fun. We've been doing all the fun things. We have. Now. It's been a very fun trip. It has been. It's been a little chilly. No a snow for chilly. us though, but it's been a little it's chilly. It's been cold. Yeah, it's cold. It's sunny today. We've had gloomy days. Yes. Anyway, we have a finish, some whips, some haul. We're going to talk about 12 by 12. We're going to talk about our plans. Um, We've got a lot of stuff to share today. A lot of today. stuff to share today. Yes, so we'll we just do. get right into it. Yes. All right. Um, Something though we did want to just let you know that we're doing yes. is, so we've been doing these kind of, um, these specialty whip parades where they're like a small collection of whips. We did a fall one, we did a winter whip one, and so now we're going to be filming another whip parade and we're going to call it our non-seasonal whip parade because it's kind of every other whip we have that's not, that's not fall or winter right. really seasonal i mean there's a few like valentine kind of patriotic, patriotic um it's all the other stuff yeah so we're gonna be filming that and so keep an eye out for that to kind of see what other whoops we have yeah um, we've enjoyed doing those it's fun to look through all your projects and touch them and get yes. inspired actually yes definitely yeah, for sure good yes. job yes so i don't have any finishes okay. do you oh i do have <gasps> one finish yay and I was determined to finish this, and it's Bringing Home the Tree from um, It's So Emma from Lori Holt, designed by Lori Holt. And I've had this for a couple of years. I don't know how many, but I did get it finished. And I do really like it. It came out really cute. I'm happy with it. Um, I don't know. I really like it. Just reminds me of going to the mountains and cutting down a tree which we did not do this year, but that's okay. Um, I not sure how I'm going to finish this. I'm not sure if I'm going to make it a big pillow or frame it. I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Why how I'm going to finish it. too big of a pillow, but I don't uh, know. I can't decide. Uh, I can't decide. I can't decide either. You could make a cute pillow though, but it's, I really love the colors. You I did do too. A good job. I'm it was fun. Glad you it was actually it. a fun stitch after I got figured out how to do the negative space stitching, which I did have a problem with last year, but this year didn't seem to bother me to finish it. So I don't know how I attacked it differently, but I like it. And is this 14 count white? It's 14 count white Ada. Yep. <coughs> so, excuse me. Not sure. It's beautiful. It looks so pretty. I could finish it as like just like a flat fold or something. I don't that know. Might be pretty. I, I'll just put it in my box with my. Well, other you don't finishes, need it now because yeah, I won't. It's for next year. Yeah. So there's my there's my one finish, and you didn't have any finishes. Finish no finishes after for last me. month's Mika. No, I got enough spree, spree, and this month not so much. It's been very busy, so it has been very <laughs> busy. <laughs> finished anything? Okay. So, um, we could go ahead and go into our whips, though, because I have quite a few whips that I've worked yes. on. Yes, why don't you start with some whips, because okay. I, I spent a lot of time stitching that. So, my first one here is called Christmas in Pink. I don't know why this is being funny. Um, did not fold that very nicely, but there it is. It's Christmas in Pink by Cor A. Baticor. It's French, so I can't pronounce it. But I loved this sweet little girl and all the pinks. I started this like a long few Christmases ago. And it's on 16 count touch of gray. And I have her sled all finished. That's what I worked on this year as I filled in the rest of the white on that sled. So adorable. And then I worked a little bit on her coat tail there. Getting what's that a, outlined. What's not to love about a pink Christmas, right? I know. Yes, I know. I love, I love it. it so much. It's so cute. It is so cute. Is it showing up so, pretty good? Yeah, it is. Good. It shows up a little better back here, but you did quite a bit more stitching on that. I did. I don't know if I'm going to do um, a lot of the border stuff up here. 
I'm definitely not doing this down here. Um, because I just don't want to, but I might do some kind of- I just don't want to. <laughs> I just don't want to. I might do some variation of up here because I like all the things like the sign and the skates and the stocking. I like all the stuff that hangs down. So I might do a simplified version. I think a simplified border would be good. That is a really busy border. Kind of almost it takes is. away from everything else a little bit. Yeah, that's why I'm going to take this away. And then, yeah, I might simplify this. I might just do it across- I still will probably do the pattern, but, um, and because I love all the hanging stuff, like look at this game. Yeah. So, and this says Christmas in pink, which I love. Which it, is really I cool. Love pink, yeah. So, yeah. I made quite a bit of progress on it. You did. It's so pretty. I love it. So. I love the gifts all stacked up in the tree with the pink bow. I know. What's not to love about that? Yeah. What is not to love about that? It's and the sled. fun to stitch because of all the fun pinks. So, yeah. Okay. Should I go? Or are you going to go? Or? Um, I just have the two. I better go again. Okay. I have quite a few. Okay. You have two? Yeah, let me do one more. Let me do one more. Okay. So this is a Mill Hill kit. And this is called Santa's Treats. And there's cookies and cocoa and stuff on here. And this just is the called, well, the provided perforated paper that it came with. I worked on his cup. And then this is an outline of a tree sugar cookie down here on the bottom. So I kind of worked on that a little bit. There's a bunch of beading on the cookie that look like sprinkles yes. that I'll do later on. I had a problem. So I had you, had, to, you had a problem? I had a problem. No. So that I made last year that I had to unstitch and redo. So I unstitched all this green and I had to redo it. So I made a lot of progress considering what I had to do. But I love it because I think all the cookies are really cute. So there's a the little tree. Sorry, there's a the good. There's a the little tree cookie. Very cute. Yes, it is very cute. So, yep, yeah, that's that one. Okay. So, what about you? Yeah, you go? go. Okay, yes. I'll go. Um, so my bag. Madison obviously doesn't have her bags because she came on a plane. <laughs> Tried to save space. <laughs> you can bring stuff. Yes. Okay. I, this was a start for me as well as a whip. And this was a pattern that I got two years ago. I don't, I'm not really sure. I don't remember. Oh, 2021 from Kitten Stitcher. It was 25 days of Christmas I had signed up for. And this was one of the patterns that came in it. It's called Share Joy from Hands to Work. And it goes this way. And I love the bird on I here. Love the bird. I like so the joy too. Me like, too. I think it's just so pretty. And I changed my colors because she did all week's dye works. She did provide DMC color conversions, but I think I didn't have them. And so I just went to my stash and picked, you know, red, green, gold, and, and so forth. So this is where I am. It's super fun to stitch in. I do really like it. It's but very cute. I've got the Y stitched on the bottom for joy. That's kind of my word this been this word this year. Choose joy. I choose joy. Even in the darkest times. <laughs> you choose joy. Right? Yes. So choose joy. It does help when you say that to yourself. I choose joy. I choose joy. <laughs> Sometimes I repeat that to myself. So I do really like this. I think it's really fun. It's been fun to stitch on. Cute kind of sad to put it away I think I might put this one in my so like on the 25th of the month I try if I remember to to pull out a Christmas project mm -hmm. on the 25th of the month that's kind of one of my little goal things that I try to remember I don't always remember it because all of a sudden I'm like oh it's the first I forgot to stitch something on so I think I might put this in my hopefully work on the 25th of the month and because it's really fun I like it and it's doable to get done in a couple months, I think. You had a lot done on it, too. So yeah, I it was so. fun. I liked it. I liked working on it. So, I love it. Yes. Okay. All right. My next one is the Prairie Schooler um, Christmas Village. I love this one. I started this last year. And this uh, 
I don't know what it's just shunt. <laughs> no, that's just a note of something you, uh, yes. <laughs> you wrote left yourself. So here's my progress. It's like a 16 count something. I think it's a 16 count. It has like a tint of green in it. Um, so it's really pretty. But here's my progress. It is really pretty. I love it. So I've started on the other house down there. I didn't get too much of this done this year. I wanted to do more, but kind of got over Christmas as time went on. But I love I do too. The houses. I also love the little sleigh up here. Mm, I do that too. The horse is carrying in the log cabin. It's my favorite house up there with the logs. I know I say that every time. So, me too. I do really love this pattern. And did you do called for DMC? Yes, I did. Yeah. Did you already say that? I'm sorry. No, I did not. So okay. Thank you. Okay. 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 Um, Just should I do another yeah, one? Yeah, go ahead and do okay. another one. Yeah, you've got several more than me. Okay. As usual. Did other stuff though. I did. So my next one is another little Mill Hill kit, and this is an ornament. It's called Christmas Eve from the Winter Holiday Collection. It's a little house. And I almost finished this. You're so close. <clears throat> so I still have to fill in the blue sky and then add some stars and a little moon bead that they provided. Um but you're all, you're so close. I'm almost done. And when we bought this from the store, the model they had, they extended the snow down and wrote their the name of your, their family on there. Um so I did that. My last name is Clark, so I my new last name <laughs> still not used to that. I mm -hmm. added that down. Um, At least it will start with a C. They do. So I was happy. I just extended it down and there was plenty of um, white thread, thread and beads to and do room. that. And room. There was plenty and of room. room. Yeah, because yeah. you can still see I have plenty of room up top and even on the bottom. Because um, these you fussy cut out right around to make it, to make it ornament. an ornament. So yeah. Super cute. Yes, yeah, so you can see I just have to finish blue and then there's just a few little back stitching like some smoke and some stars and then this moon is a button that came in the kit that I'll finish but it's so fun it's really cute I worked on this Christmas Eve and Christmas yeah just Christmas Eve pretty much and the night so, before yeah I really worked on it while you were busy yeah you made cinnamon rolls while That's I right. stitched I was doing other stuff yes to bring the holiday spirit to everyone <laughs> <laughs> wait I lost my friends uh, for this project so I I enjoy doing these little ornaments they're kind of fun it's been my goal to do one a year a year kind of because yeah. i get over i mean it's kind of right. boring to keep doing them yeah like i don't want to do i can't do a whole bunch one season so right i get that one is plenty i get that i have this and this so i, show I one just have this yeah. okay let me show one more okay sorry i have so many no don't be sorry for Ugh. having things to show okay this is my last christmas one and let's see if i can find yes here it is and this one was um bought off of etsy so I printed it so it's not the best, but it's from Little Fox Stitching and it is Christmas Gingerbread Village. I had, I worked on these two houses. Yes. So now I have two thirds of the way done and this is on a 14 count. It was white, but we dyed it with charcoal gray. We dyed this fabric and started it together. We did. And so I have... The whole border done and then I finished that second row so I'm very happy with how it turned these out these guys are so cute they're having a little snowball fight so I just have the bottom left this was my goal was to finish that middle row this year and hopefully next year I can do the bottom row I really enjoy working on it so nice. nice you can just admire it for me <laughs> while I show you here yes well it's so cute it's so cute so i love now, this can you still get this off that etsy shop so oh uh, yes you cannot it seems that this company doesn't sell the pattern on etsy anymore but they have a different website that you can buy it from but we will link the website below okay okay they still sell them for digitally online um it's just not on etsy anymore okay okay but they're still under the same name if you google little fox stitching christmas gingerbread village 
you will find up. it because that's how I found it, but we'll link it okay. below in the description box if you Perfect. guys want to find it. It's a really fun and easy stitch. I really just am obsessed with it. It's so cute. But so cute. I just really love gingerbread houses. It's so, so cute. Yes. Yeah. All right. And all the lattice work of the house. Looks like you used to call it for DMC. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. That's another thing is I like the colors that they, yeah, that they used. So very good. And the, it shows up pretty nicely on this darker color. Good progress. Yeah. Your snow so, also shows up. I met my goal. I finished the row. That was my goal. I did it. Good job. I did it. You're, Thank you're you. so amazing. Oh. <laughs> oh my God. Okay. The next one, I did work a one evening just for a little bit on this my mary 395 1869 thanks to helen who wanted to see these got back into it i use silky 12 weight it's 11 color 1169 12 weight this is this is similar to about one and a half threads of dmc we used to use a lot of silky when we did a lot of embroidery mm -hmm. and so it works really well though in cross stitching too um oh here it is so I got it out and made a little progress down here. I ditched like that LM, those three rows right there at the bottom. So it's not a ton, but you know what? It's something. So I hopefully hope this year to get it out and every once in a while and put some stitches in it. I'm going to try. So there we go. But there's my, there, the color. Now you can see the color red a little better. Yeah. It's it kind of a very um, classic red, almost mm -hmm. like a red work red when you see people do red work embroidery. Mm -hmm. It's kind of that color. Okay. Well, and you inspired me then to work on mine. It was all good. Thanks to Helen. Yes. Thank you, Helen. I'll never um, forget Helen now. <laughs> mine is Harriet Salt. 1866 just a reminder M massive <laughs> yes it's okay though and here is mine I did a little bit of work I started to go down I decided I was gonna go across but I've decided I'm gonna work page by page now so I done some of these ABCs over here at the beginning nice see look just a little something something and yeah it's all it takes is a little something something so yeah, it's very pretty. We have the same alphabet up at the top. There. We do. That's interesting. It's an interesting. Yeah, is this is true. Is my, I started. I also no. I got bored of stitching that same alphabet because it's I did curly. Too. So I was like, oh, I'm gonna go down and do some of these more simpler ones. I, I had trouble with easier. the curly alphabet. I did too. Frequently, I would be like, wait, where am so I? I got to P, and then I was like, <laughs> oh, I'm gonna give up for now. Yeah. So that's why I decided to go down. And then also, I'm sorry, I want to talk a little bit more here. I, my alphabet, I want to get down to some of this fun bands. Yeah. They look like little borders and stuff. So I want to go down so I can not have to do all the alphabet at the same time. Yeah. And then have to do all this. So I'm going to kind of work my way down. So I, I can think have some variation. I think that's what mine. I'm doing too on mine. That's why I went, I kind of went down because yeah. I'm almost across the top, but not quite, but close. I still have uh, quite a bit, but I'm going to go down a little. So that yeah, inspires see. me because I'm. If I can get down to the motifs, that'll be something different. Now, what is yours on. stitched on? I don't think I told what mine was stitched on. So, let's see. I don't know. I don't know if I know what mine is either. I think mine is just an 18 count natural that I dyed with tea. I think mine's a picture of this plus, but... Yeah, I, mine is... I hand dyed it with some tea. I know that. Hmm. What is yours? Are they 16 count or 18 count? Mine is 18 count. I think mine is eight. Yeah, mine because they're so too. big. We were like, we have to do eighteen yes. count, otherwise it'll just be like a blanket. It's already a blanket. It is already a blanket. Um, yeah, I think I have two more letters, and then I'm to the end of mine. But I think mine's an eighteen count. But I don't know. I don't know what fabric it is off the top of my head. I'm sorry. That's I know okay. You guys like to hear that, but it's an eighteen count. Yeah. And um trying to make a better effort to get those yeah fabrics on my rings as I have projects but and I'm also using the sulky red yes as you well, are it's so. a classic red so it's it is very nice to stitch with so it is okay 
Those are all the whips we both have for right now. Yeah, those are all oh, the whips. Oh, Apollo, you want to get up there? All right, then. <laughs> <laughs> I have stuff everywhere, bud, but okay. Oh, he's going to curl up over there. With okay, the... great. As long oh, as he... God, maybe not. doesn't start flipping covers around. He gets up here on this bed, which this is Madison's old room. And he gets under the covers and flips. He unmakes the bed. It's his bed now. It is his bed. Well, you sit here and do all yeah. the stuff. Yeah, when I, I work from this desk for my job a lot. And he gets up there and then he can look out the window too. Okay, oh, he's there. Okay, he here's your good boy. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Speaking of dogs, I miss Gus Gus. He's at home with my husband. We'll have to insert a picture of him here in front of the Christmas tree. Um, he's a He was a little hesitant when I set it up, but... He, I got him in front of it to take his picture. So he's a good boy. I, I do miss him. So he's at home. My little goober. So, but Apollo has been, well, he's enjoyed having me here because I give him lots of treats. Yeah. I gotta he, make him like me. I'm feeding to. <laughs> that's just what we need because he, he has his own issues with that. <laughs> he's thick in the waist, you know. Uh, thick in the waist. So, yeah. Okay. So enjoy that picture of my cute little boy. It's a good picture that you took, actually. Really good. Those treats, man. You can get them to do anything. Right. You one of those. They're really food-motivated dogs. They are. All right. So, now that 2023 is coming to a close, yes, we got to figure out our plans for yes. 2024. And we both use a plain notebook to keep our plans um, in here. Yes. So we had lots of people ask about how we how we go about planning, what we do. They wanted to see what we what how we do it, and so we thought we'd show you again. I mean, you know, the year's over. And I think over. we're we're gonna do pretty much the same thing. I think we might change, you know, a few things that we do. But um, right. why don't you go ahead and explain yours? And as you do, I'll show how I do it each step of the way. You know what I mean? No, you don't know what I mean. No, I don't know what you mean. All you right. Go, you just talk. I don't want to talk. Okay, I'll talk. Okay. You talk. Well, so... I feel like I talk too much. I feel like I talk too much, so you're fine. Okay. <laughs> well, so at the beginning of the month, we each kind of set up our own plan, or we do something different, um, and we decide, you know, what we're... We pick out the projects that we want, and we put them in our baskets that we right. show. We don't have our baskets I prepared yet. I know mine is. But, like, we go through our whips, and we pick out however many we want of what we want to work on and then we kind of set up our planners and I'll show you how I do mine so this is for December um and so I have a goal section and that's where I put all the projects that I put in my basket and then I have made some other little goals but I never met those so I'm not doing that next year <laughs> There you go. I had made like, oh, I want to, I guess I did do a few, but I already knew I wanted to do these. So I added, added them on there. Um, so, okay. so my goal was to do like patriotic one week and then like Christmas one week, but that just didn't happen. Um, and then I have a little spot at the bottom where I total up all of my statistics, like my hours and whatnot. And then I have the date and the project that I worked on. And then the hours that I added. And so that's how I do it. Um, okay. And you have, yes. So I do something similar. So I'll, for my calendar, I write, you know, December 2023. And then I write the day date on the side. And then if I cross stitch, I write X. And then I write the project I worked on. If I do quilting, I put a Q and write the project I worked on. If I do wool, I put a W and then write the project I worked on. Um, or anything crafty because this is our crafting journal. So that's how we keep track of our craft. Just it's, it's like, you can see, like I didn't, uh, let's see the 19th. I didn't do anything crafty. So I, it just kind of keeps me in check of like crafty keeps me sane. So, um, I need to do the crafty and sometimes I get stuck in a rut and I'm like, I don't want to do anything. I'm too tired. And, but if I just do it, I feel better. So, my goal is to always try to do something crafty, even if it's just 15 minutes. Same. That's my goal too. Yes. Yes. And so then I always have my little goals over here. I make a goal for wool, a goal for quilting, a goal for sewing, which could be piecing quilting or whatever. And then a goal for cross stitch. And like, I didn't make any goals this month of December because I knew I was going to be busy with things. 
So I didn't make a goal for December. So if I had, and I haven't even highlighted what I've accomplished here, I'll show you like October. So if I make my goal, I highlight it. So I know I made that goal. So like this month, you know, these were the goals I made. I didn't obviously make these other goals. So it is what it is. It's fine. It's just kind of guidelines. And I thought, they always say that when you write things down, yes. you're like a lot more, I don't know the percentage, but like, it's like, it's a lot, it's a lot like 50 to 60% more likely to actually do it yes. or accomplish your goal. Mm -hmm. And we like to plan. We're very much organized, plan or organized list people. So this just yeah. is what works for us. Yeah. Um, I mean, and this is super simple. Like, like just a notebook. Yeah. Her, she does, she draws. So she sometimes draws things, but yeah. But it's still just very simple. And it's also fun to look back. We were it talking. Is. We were like, oh, did you work on that project at all this year? And, you know, we could go back and look. And I could be like, oh, I did work on that for five days. So that was good. Yeah. Or when did I do that? Or, right. you know. Um, and you so can, it's kind of a fun to have a record a little bit. It is. And I, you know, I don't really record much information except for the name of the project and what it was. Whether it was quilting or wool or whatever. So, and then at the beginning of the year, for each year, so this coming year, I have to redo this and so do you. Yes. Um, I, go ahead. I'll let you go and talk about yours. So, I do a page and these are all of my whips. And so, I just have the number. Whoops, my little bookmark here. I have the number of the whip, the project, and then the year that I started. So they're in, you know, oldest to newest. And the ones that are highlighted, I finished this year. And the color correlates with the color that I used in the month. So if it was blue, I finished it in January. If it was this pink, finished it in June, whatever. So that's just what works well for me. Um, and so we will both be rewriting these lists and removing the finished one. So we have a current up-to-date whip list. Um, and so then you can also see, because I do more statistics, I do have a whole page of what I started, what I finished, the projects, the hours, and then the number of days that I stitched. I haven't totaled it up for the year yet, but um, that's something extra that I like to do because I like numbers and stuff. <laughs> so I do mine a little more simplified. Uh, do you is he gonna go out? I don't know. Should I let him out? Just let him out. Okay. He's over there whining. Okay. I'll keep talking. Okay. So Sorry. for mine, I I also list mine out not as detailed as hers. So for me, I have a bunch of quilt tops that I need to quilt. So I just list them. And as I finish them, I do highlight them so I know, oh, I did quilt that one. Because I have like 57 quilt tops or something that need to be quilted. 52. Um and I've drawn a line. So this is where year 2023 started. So I only added four new quilt tops to my list, which is good. And I quilted some. So I do the same thing with cross stitch whips. So I list them. And then as I finish them, I highlight them. Well, like here's one I just like totally scrapped. I'm not doing that one anymore because I decided I don't like it and I'm not going to finish it. So I don't have any coordination of they don't coordinate the highlight colors don't coordinate with the month which is cool but I just don't do it so here I drew my line at 2020 at the beginning of 2023 and then these are my new added whips for the year so these are the ones I've added and anything highlighted is something I finished and I have one for wool projects I have one for cross stitch projects one for quilt tops I don't know I think that's it and I, I, I so. only do cross stitch up in my in your craft journal in I, my craft journal yes. okay yes so it's really just for my cross yeah. but you do more which i think is great because if you've yeah. got multiple things to track yeah um and so we're both just going to continue on right aren't you gonna i'm just going to continue on with this notebook yep. so i'm gonna rewrite like, I, I barely I'm, used you know i only used this little bit of my notebook right so we'll be able to fit many years in here i think which will be kind of fun so I will skip a few pages and then I'll rewrite that whip list and, and take off the ones that are finished. Finished. Hi, apologies. Hi, buddy. Do you want a treat? Oh, gosh. There was a dog barking outside, so I think he got excited. You're kind of high maintenance today. I'm you not sure are, what buddy. the deal is. Okay, that's enough. Now go away. <laughs> Say hello. Look how pretty you are. Yeah. He's, he's like, give me more dogs. Okay. That's what you need, buddy. 
this. Okay, why don't you get in your chair? Come on. So that is kind of what our plans are. We had several people asked us to go through how we make plans. And our bucket that we're talking about, so at the beginning of every month, we take out our everything we've been working on and then refill it with things we want to kind of kind of work on so that we have a lot of whips we're okay with that but if we go through and just pull a smaller subset know. out it's yeah. easier to be like, like you're gonna be overwhelmed to 10 or whatever usually i don't do more than like 10 to 12 because yeah. then it's too many but yeah. i don't limit myself right. so i just do whatever i want but right typically it's like five to ten exactly me too and so then when i want to stitch i just go to that little bucket and think oh what am i going to work on because i've already it's less overwhelming to all the pick other stuff. something yeah so Hope that that really has helped me. Me that, too. Me too. The, the, the monthly the reset. Bin, it's like a yes. monthly reset. Yes. Because right? I, I do have to say, by the end of the month, I get over the projects. Like we're, you know, it's right. the 28th. I don't want to work on any of these projects. <laughs> no. Or I'm ready for something different. Right. Well, Christmas I get over pretty quick. That but too. Even that though too. I didn't stitch that much Christmas. Um, okay. So hopefully that helps encourage you. I don't know. Maybe that was boring to some people. But maybe if, I, if we helped somebody, that's great. Um, yes, but that's just how we do it. And it that's just how we do definitely it. Definitely helps us quite a bit. It does. And then we each both have a notebook that we put our starts in and it has all our information, the name of it, uh, the, who the designer was, the count and the color of fabric. And if you did DMC substitutions or the color the substitutions, the start date, the yeah. finish date. Oh, look, I finished that one. Ha -ha. Anyway. Cup of Christmas and, cheer. What? And they're numbered. So those are like all the time the number. Yeah. yeah. I like, have mine too. I just all to, Yes. So, that's but you know, project. that's just us. You don't have to. We like. So we have two separate notebooks. But because, this is a planner and that's like a record. Keeper, yeah. Right? Well, and since we do floss tube, sometimes people will say, hey, what fabric was that? And we can look it up. Yes. Like if you're desperate to know what it was. Or if I go back and I'm like, I want more of this Ada. Can I get more yes. of that? Yes. And then I know the name and I can go buy some more. Yes. Okay. All right. So now we're going to talk about 12 by 12. Um, 12 by 12 is a program where you take, you can do what you want, but it originally was created, take 12 new starts for the new year. And on the hour from mid, from noon to midnight, you start one every hour to have a new start. And so we're going to do that this year. We're going to do 12 new starts, 12 by 12, um, we had debated whether we were just going to work on 12 projects, old ones, but we decided to do 12 new starts because we hate, we decided we don't really like organizing that and getting starts all together. You know, you got to pick your pattern, then you're picking your fabric and you got to do threads and then you're cutting your fabric and you got to floss drop your thread and it's a lot of work. And then just to start in general, finding your starting point, where you're going to start from, getting it going, yes. counting so we decided it's good for us to have 12 new stuff. Yeah, so we were like good with that. So we spent a, a lot of time preparing 12 new starts. Yes, because it's a lot, a lot of, time. of work. It's a lot of work. It's a lot of work. So, But we wanted to do that because we do enjoy doing that. Mm -hmm. So so be on the lookout for that. Because mm -hmm. um, we're going to be after to... the first of the year. Yes. So we're excited <laughs> for that though. We are excited for and that. So fun. look for that video to come as well. Yes. And along those same lines... Our 12 by 12 for this past year, we pulled and we're going to share with you our progress on the 12 by 12s that we started for the beginning of 2023. Yes. Which was the end of 2022. Yes. So that's <laughs> what we're going to share with you now and just show you what our, what our progress was. Yes. Okay. All right. So I think... You want to go first? I don't care. Okay, go ahead. Okay, I gotta go get first. mine out. So of course I have bags because I live here. <laughs> it's easier for me. And mine are all like in one here. Okay, so one of my starts was, and I really wanted to work on this. It's it's a Mill Hill kit, and it's called um, Ski Dog. Oh, it's glary. And I want to make this into an ornament. I'm not going to stitch all this background snow. I'm just going to stitch the dog and kind of cut it out like an ornament. But this is, this is all I have. So this is what I did, I think, on that day for 12 by 12. And I, did, I have not worked yeah, on it at all. I haven't done any more There are several that I have not touched Neither. since that day, which is fine. No big deal. No, but I, I still love this and I still want to do it. Yes. So I'm okay with it. 
someday I will get back to it. It started. Yeah. And then I can pick it up and work on it. So perfect. Okay. Um, okay. Mine that I'm going to start with is at first Cox Crow. Um, and this is just a copy of the, uh, from my book, um, from the Blackbird Designs book. And it is a, um, Halloween themed one. I always loved it. I thought it was really cute. And this is on 14 count milk chocolate. And that's my progress. I started on the border and I didn't work on it this year at all. Um, I had a lot of other Halloween stuff that I started, so <laughs> I didn't really work on it. But I do still love it. It's it's beautiful. So very rarely have I started. I've only done 12 by 12 twice. That's and I've done it one. I've only done it. This was my first time. You yeah, did it a year without me. Yeah, I did. And then, but I haven't. I guess the first year I didn't pick wisely. So there are a few that I'm like, oh, I could work on them, but I don't really want to. But like these that I have from this past year, I really still love. Yeah. And would choose to start them again if I yeah. hadn't. So even though I didn't work on them more, mm -hmm. it's okay. So this is my Halloween bag. Does that did that make sense? Yes, it makes. This is out of the book Hello Halloween from uh, Teresa Kogut. I do want to do the one on the front, and so I started this. Thank you. Uh -huh. And I started up in the corner. And that's all that I have started. You know what your fabric My is. fabric is a 14 count what fabric flare parchment. Okay. So fabric flare is printed fabric. So if you look at the back of this, it's white. And the front is a printed modeled look. I, I like that modeled look. It's very yeah. nice. Yeah, they, I, I do like some of their, their printed ones. Anyway. Okay. All right, my next one is another Blackbird Designs Strawberry Fields Forever. I've always loved this one. I just love the um, sweet little house and the gate. And this is stitched on 14 count beige. And I started on the little stone fence down there. Oh, stone like, what gate. is that? Okay. Um, I didn't get very much <laughs> done, but. Oh, well. It's okay, and I have not worked on it since, so. But you still love it. But I still love it. That's what counts. I love it. That's what counts. This is my bag. This is Miss Mary Mac, 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 all dressed in black, 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 from La Dee Da. We love La Dee Da. And I do love La Dee Da. And I just love this. This is on 18 count Dirty Ada. And I've just started up in the corner. And there's, you can see that little part right there. The whole outside border looks like buttons. So that's what I have there as a button. So it's really cute. I'm really, I, I love this one too. Me too. It'll be really fun. Because it's like yeah. negative yeah. space, right? With the buttons. For the button, which is really cute. Yeah. It was fun. So I, I really would like to, obviously. Whatever. But you still like it, which is no, great. Oh, I still like it. So. As we started these a year that's ago. A little over a year. A little, mm -hmm. a little over a year ago. Um, this one is Prim Village by Lori Holt. I love these houses. I love the colors because they're two-toned. This is stitched on a 14 count that I dyed with. Um, I sprayed it with the Primitive Gathering spray. And that's the part of the little house there. So, oh, pretty good. Uh -huh. I find that when it's more like concentrated stitching, it looks like I've done more in the hour than when it's all spread out. It yeah. looks like less. So I, I agree with that. Obviously haven't worked on it since then, but that's okay. Still love it. Oh, I agree with that. Okay. Um, let's see. This one is in this bag with these crazy witches. This is a prairie schooler called Nevermore. course we all love very schooler and I did stitch on this one again I finished uh the moon up in the corner and I, mean, I didn't stitch a ton more but I did something I do like stitching on this one yeah I love that one so very pretty. yeah and this is on a 14 count fiddler's ada light oatmeal
This next one is also from Blackbird Designs. It's called A Bit of Spring, and this is from the La Dida book. I just took um, a copy of from my book so I could show you guys the pattern. I love this one. And it's on 16 count that I again sprayed with primitive dye, primitive gathering spray. spray. And I did work on this one because I loved it. I wanted to work on it during Valentine's day like valentine stitching yeah time mm -hmm. um but i did have to unstitch what i stitched <laughs> during that hour because uh -huh. the green was not showing up on my fabric so i changed the green i love how this is looking and you can see i've made some more progress i mean not a lot but it's better yeah. than nothing something something's better than so nothing. i did have to unstitch i don't think i had very much just a little bit of this green but i'm loving how the pink and I the red so. are showing up on here. Yes. That print of gatherings spray makes it look um, very, very nice. So it does. I did work on this one. This is like the first one that I've worked on. Yeah, that, that <laughs> Halloween one was the first one I yeah. worked on so, that I've showed. There we go. Let's see. We should kind of keep track of how many we've worked on. Okay, I have versus one. Not. I only have one so far as well. So I'll try to. Okay, so this is my project bag. This is, this is a Christmas one that I started. It's in all of the magazine from Punch Needle Primitive Stitcher. And it's from Christmas Winter 2021. And I believe that you can get this uh, as a standalone pattern now. I, I'm not positive, but I think so. It's from um, Barbara Anna Designs and it's called Dancer. And this is why I bought the magazine because I absolutely loved that. I still love it. I'm glad I started it. Love it, love it, love it. And I stitched mine on a 16 count night sky from Fiber on a Whim. And it goes like this. I have not start. Uh, I have not worked on this since then. But I still love it. So I love that night sky too. It's really pretty. I'm still good with this one. Good, good, good. Okay. The next one is Tomato Dame from Plum Street Sampler, and I have worked on this one. Not a lot, but I love her little tomato in her wagon with her little sign. And I stitched this on 14 count antique blue. And I did work on her. I worked on her dress a little bit and her sign. She's cute. She's not complete yet, but she's coming along. Um, I like how her white dress and her white apron show up really nicely on the blue. Yes, she's very so cute. she's very sweet. It'll make a sweet little summertime pillow when I get it done. So that's two for me working on them. I only have one. And this one was a complete fail. So this oh, is the project right. bag. And because what I had stitched doesn't count for anything. So this is called Elizabeth, Elizabeth J. M. Mears, 1833 from Queenstown Sampler Design. It's really hard to see. But I really love that big house. And yes, it's a big white house. And yes, I'm going to stitch that because I love that. Um, and do I know what fabric I had? Hmm. Oh, yes, I do. It's labeled there. It's a 16 count ale from Picture This Plus. Love this. But I stitched. This is what I stitched in that. I don't know, the time that I had, you know, you don't really get a full hour. It's more like 35 to 40 minutes by the time you do everything. Um, but instead of stitching along the bottom, this is the grass, I stitched the grass along the side. You had your fabric turned the wrong orientation. <laughs> yes. So, you know. And you figured it out after our hour was up. So that's one of my 12 by 12s that is a complete fail. It's basic. So, so now I put a note on here that tells me which way is the top. And which way is the bottom? Um, it's hard for pieces when you don't have anything started. Or, I, know. I mean, you're like, I don't know which way's up, which way's down. I don't know. So I still love it. Still want to start it, it's stitch it. Pretty. But I don't really have anything on it now because yeah, here's the color. But you need to fix it now. Now it's a problem. It's so a problem. I should unstitch it for you. Here's some, of the, here's the threads. It's going to be so pretty. Still really love it. So happy about that. Okay. My next one is Garden Party Warm by Satsumi Street. 
This also comes in a cool version and I like that one. It has blues and greens instead of pinks and oranges. I will probably stitch that one. And I worked on this one quite a bit during summer because of the bright colors. This is 16 count white. So pretty. Um, it's so, so, so pretty. The colors she used are gorgeous. There's a lot of color changes. And you can even see in the border, it looks variegated, but that's just the color changes. She did a really nice okay. job with the colors. It's DMC, you said? And yes. Did and she do it? It's called Four okay. Colors, yes. Um, I like a lot of her patterns because they just show up on white really well. They look really nice. They're very modern. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. they're very fun. I um, love them. They're so pretty. Yeah. I love it. I, I mean, I'm kind of halfway if you... You know, yeah, I think I'm almost uh, to the yeah. top up here. So you can see, look at here, I was working on the border, like how the change of the color to like the next, yeah. whatever is going to be up Kind of blend as you go. Yeah. It's very, very pretty. Very, very pretty. So I worked on this one quite a bit, clearly. It's a very fun stitch. Although it's, you know, you got to make sure you get it in the hexagon because it's symmetrical. It's symmetrical. So you got to make sure you're, you know, on yes. top of it. So I love this one so much. I do too. So I did work on that one. Okay. This one is called Fairy Keys from Little Fox Stitching. Little Fox Stitching, sorry. Um, I bought this because I really love the colors. And I did work on this one. I did change the colors because the colors on the pattern cover do not look like the colors in real life. So I picked my own colors on this one. Whoops. And I, I have stitched on this one. And this is on a 14 count. I think it's like an ivory. I can't find what it is stitched on, but I think it's like a 14 count ivory. Um, and so that's the progress I've made. I love it. I love the colors that I picked there. That's more what they look like. Yeah. Like the pattern cover. So, yep, still love it. So that's another. That's one I worked on. Yay! Yay! Good job. Finally got another one they that I worked so on. Pretty. And you. the colors you chose are gorgeous. So yeah, they worked out really well. So there's that. All right, my next one is the Milk and Cream Company from Plum Street Samplers. I've always loved this one because I love the little cow. I do too. I have worked on this one. It is stitched on a 16 count that I dyed with tea. Um, I've been working on filling in a lot of this bottom part. It's very heavy stitching on the bottom. Because um, this sign is filled in. You can see I've got mm -hmm. to the M with ecru. So it, you can hardly see it, but you can you can tell, especially when it's done. So, and I'm almost done with my last little hill. Then I can start on the cow and other items. So I enjoy stitching this one. Nice. It's a nice little size too. So I just think it's very sweet. Yes. I appreciate her color conversion to DMC if she hasn't done it in DMC. Agreed. I do yeah. as well. I appreciate I that. I do as well. Okay. Let's see. This one I did work on too. Yay me. Okay. This is from the Scarlet House. Sweet Tomato. And it says, sweet plump tomato ripening on the vine one day soon, you're going to be mine. And so I've got all the words stitched and I need to just work on um, the tomato plant. So very, very pretty. I made some progress. So yay, yay, yay. I like stitching words. Do you like stitching words? I do like stitching letters and well, words letters. and numbers. Yeah, I do. I think it's fun. I do too. I think it's just sometimes it's easier. Yeah. I don't know. You stitch, I enjoy it. It's something different too. You make and... a lot of progress, I feel like. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Do you know what I mean? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. My next one is Live on Little by Plum Street Samplers again. It's one of my favorite. I like them <laughs> and too. And this 12 by 12, I did a lot of those patterns. And I did work on this one. And this is stitched on 16 count. Picture this plus fog. And I did a lot of stitching yes, because I finished the entire bottom of the ocean Covered and all the fill in. Coverage. It's full coverage. You've got some lobsters, fishies, three giant whales. And then of course a little mermaid with her mirror. Yeah, <laughs> she's cute. So it's 
So I would like to make some more progress on this one. I, I love this one so much, but it is pretty large. Um, yeah, but I'm very happy with my progress because that was a lot of work. So another one that I did work on. The stitch count is 307 by 207. So I'm just looking for it there. Sense. Yep. Sense. Um, right. And again, her, I, I used her DMC conversions if she didn't use them and they all look gorgeous. So yeah, I, I like her DMC conversions. I appreciate that she provides those. Okay, so this one is called, what's this called? Shelter from the Storm from Scattered Seed Samplers. And I did stitch a little bit on this one. So happy with that. Got my bunny finished up and started the next little bunny and stitched the hill. So I did make a little progress. So happy about that. Good. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. It's stitched on 18 count Rustico Ada Natural. I love the bunny. I just think he's so cute with a mushroom. I know, I love the mushroom too. Love it. Gotta love a good mushroom. There's the colors of the thread. Very, very pretty. Yeah, they are pretty. Okay. All right. Um, so then there is a couple we did together. So I'm going to go ahead and show this one. Kay. And then you, you want to show yours too, yeah. maybe? Because we did two the same. We did the... We decided we were going to start um, the Little House Needleworks Early Americans series. There are nine of these blocks. Um, they sell those separately. And she has a layout of them all together, but uh, we don't, we, have, we don't have a picture of it, but this is one of the blocks. Yeah. Um, and so we started these this together, and uh, we did work on this. We were doing kind of a block a month for a little while, and then we fell off the wagon. You stayed on a little longer than I did. Yeah, but that's okay. But we got something done on it, so it's okay. Yes. And so I, you can see I've got three done. Mine is a 14 count. I believe it's cappuccino. Um but yours is a little smaller. I think mine's count. a 16 count. I think it's cafe oh, latte or, or latte. something from picture this. So says. did work on this one and it was really fun to do. We we're it doing is. too many block of the months though at a time and I couldn't keep up. <laughs> I, I like this one as well. And you have your fourth block. Done and I have my I... fourth block done. That's Nathan Hale. So yeah, we made a lot of progress on this one. We both made a lot of progress on this one. I mean, we did. We have a, I have a third of it the way done. You have. Yeah. More than that. <laughs> I don't know. Almost half. More to that. Almost half. Not quite, but I love the. Almost half. Almost half. Yeah. Almost half so. Yeah. yeah. I do like working on this one. Me too. It's very pretty. So, hey, that's another one. So, I'm up to four I've worked on. Yeah. Four. I'm at six. Good job, girl. So, okay, I have two left. How many do you have left? You only have two left? Yeah. Okay. How many do you have left? I have... Didn't we do this one? I never started that one. Oh, okay. I thought we started it together. Um, Wait, you started, so now it's my turn. Yep. Okay, here we go. So, this is my bag. I was thinking we were off, but we're not. Right? Yeah, we are. Who's you off? can start this one. You're off. You you don't have one more. Let's see. No, I think I have 12. I started that puppy one on Mill Hill. Mm. Okay, so this is America from Calico Confectionery. The Calico Confectionery. And I did work a tiny bit more on this one, but not very much. I, I think I pulled it out on the 4th of some month and put a few stitches in it. Matter of fact, I still have a thread hanging here because of whatever was going on, I didn't even finish that thread, I think. Yeah, I did pull it out. I remember I touched it. So that was good. But I don't have much to make progress, <laughs> but still love it. Still love it. All right. I started this one. It's called Cabin Fever. It's a Mill Hill kit. Started in the middle on the marshmallows. And I did work on this one other time. It comes with the this provided navy um, perforated paper. 
So I worked on that on the marshmallows. So I did work on it, I think one extra time, but sometimes my hand hurts stitching on these. Um, so I always can't do them for very long. Oh, I, I miscounted on how many I've worked on. I'm doing good. Okay. okay. And I, all right. So I did work on that one and then, okay. You? And then I have one more here. And it's Nottingham from Kathy Barrick. And I've done a color changes using um, two different color changes that Kathy Barrick did on her own pattern. So kind of pulled together my own kind of thing. And I, I have worked on this one and I love this one. Which one don't I love, right? No. So, you know, I can't really see the greens. They're much lighter than this showing up on here. But there we go. It's a little better. So I've worked on the border a bit. And that's how far I've gotten on it. And this fabric is Heartland from Picture This Picture Picture That Picture This Plus 14. It's a 14 count. There we have it. it. Actually, goes. I think it goes this way. It doesn't really matter, does it? No, but it looks pretty. <laughs> it goes like this. <laughs> looks the okay, same. Okay, looks the same. So I still have two. We just got off when we were going back yeah. and forth. And I have two that I finished that I didn't bring because I've shown them to you guys recently. But we'll insert pictures here. The first one is the photo booth from Brenda Gervais' Snowball Book. Um, and I finished mine into a cute little pillow. I love that one. And then the other one is January by the Prairie Schooler. Yes. Right. Um, and I just showed these both in our last floss tube. Um, but here's a picture as well of how I finished it on the board and the bow and everything that I did. And they've been up the past month or so with my Christmas decorations. Right. So those are my other two that I did actually finish. So... Right. Yeah, I did good with my at least finished two. Okay. And then so you many... finished two. I didn't finish any of them, but I did work on one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I worked on seven of them. I worked on seven and finished two. So it's nine good. total. So, so that's pretty that's good. Not, that's not bad. I mean, and I still love all the ones that I've started. Me too. Okay. So wonderful. Which so was really fun. Be looking for our twenty twenty three into 2024 12 by 12 yes video yes right keep an eye out for that keep an eye yeah. out for that okay okay now we've got that was that's all the cross stitching now we've got some haul got and some haul. other crafty stuff yeah i've got some other crafty stuff Should to we do share haul first sure okay. um all is calm all is bright i just thought this was really really sweet for a little pillow it's from october house fiber arts i really like their patterns this is Santa Stops Here from Brenda Gervais. Um, someone just finished this and I love it. Oh, did they? I can't remember who, but I absolutely love it. I've always wanted it and they finally had it at the shop. So I was so happy. This is De December 25th, Merry Christmas Pin Keep from Stacey Nash. And I like that it looks like a postcard kind of. Yeah, it's very sweet. I thought it was a fun, it would be a fun quick pillow. I'm kind of into the quick pillows. This is called Christmas in Blue by Lila Studios. We loved the fun little sweaters and they finished on like little ornaments and kind of cut them out, which was really, really cute. Yeah, those so. are fun. I'm looking forward to those. Me too. They're really cute. There was also um, Christmas in Red and they were red sweaters and had different patterns they, on them. Yes. But we liked this one better. So yeah. I wouldn't mind having both, but we didn't get both of them when yeah. we were there. Nope. Okay. And then um, this one is Rilate and Hiver from Collection Tra La La. And it has a sweet little trolley cart with some pinks and blues, which is really pretty. It just is very sweet. It's kind of more wintry, not necessarily yeah, Christmas. You're so. right. It's more wintry. But I would put it with winter stitching. Me too. Yeah. So there's that one. Okay. 
Okay, and then the last one is the Prairie Schooler, and this is Santa Revisited, number three. Santa's from 87, 93, and 96. And this was actually a present from my grandma for Christmas. So she thought I would like it because of the flowers and then the candy cane stick that he's got there. So she picked this one out for me. Yes, and I love it. And my mom <laughs> got me the Prairie Schooler one. Santa's revisited number nine. I think I'm looking at the, yeah, yeah. number nine. And you can see the years there. And she picked this one for me because of the sewing machine, the old Singer sewing machine on it. So we added that to our stash. And then we also got some fun trims um, from the Stitchy store. I love, I, can't, I guess I should take this out of the bag. You can't really see it. Um, I'm sorry for the crinkling here. This is dot trim. And it's indigo. That's very, a very, very, very pretty. Color. It's very pretty to add to pillows. That's going to be pretty. So indigo is really pretty. And we also got ocula blue, which is kind of like a green ocean seafoam color. Very, very pretty. And the last one is bear, which is a brown. Also very pretty. So that was fun. And got a cute little fun needle minder. Fun little rabbit for springtime. For springtime. Yeah. Which is really, really fun. He is fun. I love him. I do so too. much. And this is a really nice brand. The magnet is very strong, so it, <laughs> it stays on. It does. <laughs> um, we both got this DMC tin, and it came with uh, neutral colors in it. I've already actually pulled out one of the gray threads for a project I want to start soon. Um, and then, and then of course, you know, it's a fun tin. So what can we say about that? Exactly. Nothing else. And then this is also a fun tin. It's a DMC tin that came with, uh, some colors. some colors and these were landscape colors. And I've already pulled out a couple of these as well. So pretty though. But they're so pretty. And you know, again, who doesn't love a tin? <laughs> With full of DMC threads. I mean, look how pretty it is. Right? <laughs> kind of. And what else? Um, my mom also stitched this for me and framed it and gave it to me. She did embroidery. And I don't know anything about it. I think it might be a buttermilk basin embroidery from a long time ago. We're talking a long time ago. I think, but I actually really don't know. So... And she doesn't know either because I asked. It was from a long time ago. As a matter of fact, I think Madison's the one that traced it for it back in the year mm -hmm. when we were doing embroidery. And so my grandma also made me one. And she did this cute little woodland scene with the deer and the mushrooms. And the butterfly and the bird. Oh, it's cute. I love it. So it'll be really cute to add. And mom here made me a pillow. She showed you guys the one she made for herself. So she also made me one. And I was so excited because I was really jealous of her pillow. I was like, <laughs> um, so I'm excited to have this for decorations for next year. I just love the ticking. Yeah. Type. And then I love, you guys know how much Font. I love fonts. So yeah, very, very sweet. So I love that. Yes. And I did make my mom some more of those little tiny wool things. And I finished those, but I forgot to take a picture of them. There were some wool mittens and a sheep and a pen cushion and the tiny little things I was making. If you watch my What's on My Table Wednesdays, you can kind of see what those were. But I finished them and gave them to her for Christmas. And I made this. <laughs> Obviously, I think you guys have seen, seen pictures of this. I had each of my kids pick out a quilt top that they wanted for Christmas. And I quilted it and bound it. So I had... I did bind these three quilts, and this is the one Madison picked. It's blues, or blues, pinks and browns, and it was a pattern out of a magazine. Don't even remember what it was. It's been a while, but. But I love it. And yeah. So the sweet print on the back. Yeah. I love it. It's nice so and cozy. So she picked that one. So this is what I picked. And then Madison <laughs> has been crocheting. <laughs> 
look at this. She crocheted this for me. Look at the lacy border. The scallop like, border. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty. So I have been crocheting quite a bit more than what I alluded to, but I had to keep it a secret so that she didn't know <laughs> yeah. that I was crocheting it. So it's, a, it's the same on the other side. So this yes. is like half so of it. So this is half of it. It's pink, and it's white. So, look at how close. Kind of gray. Close. It's very soft. It's very soft. It's very heavy. So it's a nice very weighted heavy. blanket. And I love, we love the scallop border. Oh my gosh. It's um, so sweet. I used like look at the scallop. Oh my gosh, Lori Holtz um, video on her crochet series oh, you did. on her YouTube channel. Ah, she teaches okay. you how to do um, this scallop border. It's very easy. She's great at explaining it to you. So if you are interested, it's on her YouTube channel under her crochet series. Mm -hmm. And it's so soft and cuddly. I'm sad to part with it. It made my suitcase so heavy. <laughs> I had to keep it a secret from her because I started this a little bit before Thanksgiving. She'd be like, oh, are you crocheting? No, I haven't crocheted. <laughs> it was really hard to keep a secret. I'm sure my husband was sick of me talking about it. Like, Do you think she's going to like it? Do you think she's going to like it? Look at it. Look at it. Look at her practice. Touch it. Touch it. Touch it. So, right. Yes. So I love it. Yeah, I'll be sad to part do. with it, but I'm glad you like it. I love it. <laughs> okay. So one other thing that I've been working on is my December daily, which I have kind of talked about. And it's, um, I am only halfway done with it. I will finish it up all at once, probably sometime in January. Um, it's a project where you tell 25, well, I tell 25 stories for the month of December. You can do up to 31 if you want. You know, I stop it after 25 because Christmas is over and I'm done. So you can tell your story uh, with pictures, with words, with both. It can be a current story for the day. It can be very, it doesn't have to be Christmas related. You can tell a story about the past you can you know it's just a story you tell a story so like for me for like day one for instance I will just kind of give you an idea well and I wrote a letter to dear December telling like my goals for December and what I expected out of this project um, my day one has I just told a quick story about Thanksgiving because I like to include Thanksgiving in my December daily and I put a picture of the turkey because I forgot to take a picture that day of all of us. <laughs> that was all you had. It's all I had so I stuck it in there um but I like to tell the story of Thanksgiving and so and that's... here's you have to see her fun cute first page for her number one. Look how cute that is! Yeah so there's number ah, one. So cute! Because you, you know, do numbers with each yeah like, so, so the day. story a day and so like this was my husband and I we go to this restaurant that we eat in downtown it's called Comet Chicken. I told a quick little story about that and then like here's day two. that was my day two so this is just kind of how it is you can tell whatever you want it can be you know I did laundry today and boy it was boring or I mean or you could tell a story of you know I told a story of so my day three I took a picture of me sewing the binding on my one son's quilt that he picked and so I had worked on bindings all that day and you know I took pictures of the quilts and put them in my, here and for each of my kids so and put their names on it so I know who I made them for so when I'm old and can't remember <laughs> I'll know so it's just really fun to do and it's it's a crafty thing for sure you can be as crafty as you want or not um you know I don't have to do all this I could have just written it in a notebook um so anyway, it's just fun to do. And, you know, my husband and I, we, we worked on pu Christmas puzzles. You know, I put a picture of him doing a puzzle and then I told the story. So it's just really fun. It's really fun like later the next couple years to go back and, you know, look at, uh, look at it and see, oh, what was going on? You know, my friend and I, we went for coffee for my birthday and I told the story about our friendship and just different things like that. So... It's fun. Here's, I did a, a, a color story where I just talked about colors of the season and I took pictures around my house and in my neighborhood of, of the colors. And it's put on, Allie Edwards is who I follow for December Daily. And like, here's Madison and her husband. And I just told a quick little story about that. And there's a picture of Gus, but we'll insert the better picture here. Um, so, you know, it's just kind of fun to tell the story anyway so I worked a lot on that this month too it was you, you can see it's 
I get pretty crafty because I like, I only do it once a year. And so I like to do it. And I think that's all we have to share. I think so. Okay. Thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for your comments and your support all year long. We really appreciate everyone uh, and all your kind thoughts that you always leave us. Yes, we appreciate it. So yeah. we look forward to next year and more stitching. And thanks for coming along on our stitching journey with us. Yes, thank you. There's Apollo over there. He's taking oh, yeah, a he, that. Oh, yeah. He's probably <laughs> drooling all over that chair. All right. Bye. bye.